In this video clip, we will create a new species in the user database. This will be a pseudo species called MUD. So to do it, I'll say edit project configuration and we'll use our training one. So edit. And when we get to the species page, we'll say edit user database. To add a new species, we'll use this button add and here we have a list of all the hardwired species within Syscape, but we want to define a completely new species. So we define new species. The long name, we'll call this MUD. And we'll have the same name, MUD, in the short name. And the definition, and this is where you actually put the elemental definition, but because this doesn't have a real one, we'll make up an atomic species. We'll call it IS, like that. And we'll have one of those, and we have to give it its molecular weight, 100. The occurrence, this is a solid, and the individual phase is also S, the solid. So, okay, that's the definition. But now we can put the H25, S25, CP density. All of these are optional. We will go and add a density. So let's give it a density of 2750, and I can just say update. And you'll see there it's actually said the name of the computer. Let's put it in and the date and time in which that's done it. And that's all we have to do to add the species to the user species database. If you want to add it to the project, we click done, come back into the configuration, and if we find that new species MUD, which will be in the species user database in alphabetical order, so we go down and we get to the M's, and there is our MUD, and we can say add species, and it will add it in, in alphabetical order into the solids. And that's how we add a pseudo species to the user database.